Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at congruence and similarity in triangles. This is part of the additional topics in math, which covers geometry and trigonometry as well as some with complex numbers. As always, we're going to be looking at five questions. We're going to explain them and look at the intricacies of this topic to help you ace the SAT math portion. If you like these videos or find them informative, please be sure to like and subscribe. And with that, let's get started on our first question. So we know that BC and AB and AC are all bisected by this triangle, right? The middle, the middle. And we know this by this thing called the midline theorem that this triangle is just go is going to be a similar triangle to the big triangle by one half. Right? So then we cut this up. Now we know that if if it's similar, the angle is going to be the same. Which means that this angle is going to be the same as this angle. Sure. So try it. So this angle is going to be the same as this angle. And this angle is going to be the same as this angle. So B is simply equivalent to T. Which means that our answer for how to express B in terms of A and T is just T. Alright, question. Here is both square ABCD and square EFGH shown at left have center Q. However, they, not, they do not have the same area. Which of the following must be true? Which of the following must be true? Let's the both squares. So the both squares we know that both of these are. Alright. 
Well, the figure's not going to scale, and then what are we going to do? In the figure of Balu, I'm saying that the A, B, and A, C, A are parallel, and that's what we're playing. What the C and the I and are their respective Also, the B, the A, and the J, bisect line, the A, C, and the C, the I, and I. Means that this one is congruent to this one. And since this is going to be the fifth point, right, it's bisect GI, and this bisect AC, which we're going to have the same length, which we have the same length. So it has. Figure above what is the length of x, y, and z. Well, so a couple things we know that this is bisected from here. We know that this is bisected from here because it's an angle is the same. So we know that these two triangles, uh, B, B, W, C, and uh, x, y, z, are similar by a factor of 2. We take the sine and multiply by 2 to get the angle and length. And our answer is then that's going to be a T. And that is the point of our answer. Alright, that is it. Topic Essentially, all we need to remember is the fundamental theorem that if all three angles are the same and similar, if we have the same angles and we have the same rate, the same uh, length of sides, and then we have the use that similarity and we take those ratios and we find it.